This is Joe Hardwick with the Indiana Construction Information Network. Once again, going behind the scenes of the Indiana construction industry with another exciting episode of Eye on Construction. I'm Myrna Goldman. I live there at uh, Lot 74 in the Jefferson Court Mobile Home Park. And uh, I was out there one night at 2 o'clock in the morning. This was 2 a.m. The asphalt plant was all lit up. The smoke was rolling. The noise, they were banging, what have you. And this was 2 a.m. when I was out there. And it was noisy and lit up, and they were working then. I'm like most everybody, I think. I feel like that the city hasn't done anything to help us in any way. You know, they they don't live around there and smell that every day like we do. Now, I come in this afternoon, and I had been down at Patoka Lake. Come in home, the smell was horrible. And uh, you could tell they were cooking over there, working, and the smell was, was awful. I had been down at the lake where I didn't have to smell that for a couple of days. But I feel like that the, you know, they're not doing anything to help us really, or anything that possibly should be moved out of there, really. I think that's basically maybe the only answer that there is. It doesn't seem like, as Pat said, they may add more chemicals, but what's those chemicals going to do to our health? Well, probably the other chemicals that they're going to add, it's not going to be any better. It probably will, will be the same. So, I don't know, I feel like, I'm like Pat, I feel like the only answer is to move that portable plant out. If it's portable, why can't it go somewhere else in a, not somewhere that's not residential, out in the country somewhere or something? You know, so that's my feeling. Well, my name is Allie Harmon. Uh, the meeting with the Jeffersonville Council, uh, we really don't get a whole lot of uh, help from them. And as you saw in, in there tonight, uh, after Pat made her presentation, the mayor had absolutely nothing to say. Nothing. No comment, nothing that we'll look into it, or just nothing. Uh, and I really think that they don't, they don't care. I know there are some of the council members that have talked to us and they, they have tried to work with us, but I don't think we're getting enough from the mayor. And that's very disappointing. I, I just I just wish somebody would do something. You know, if, if we if we just thought they were listening to us and were really trying to do something, but I don't think they are. We moved into the Jerison Court in February 2001. When we moved there, there were trees behind our house and where I live, the road that they're proposing is going to be right in my backyard. Um, woke up one morning and the noise was horrible. Went out back, there's bulldozers tearing everything up. And I mean, it, they tore it up. There were beautiful trees back there. We had wildlife back there. Since then, the dust on my car is horrible. It's horrible. Today, I went out to work in the yard just for a little bit. I was only planning on being out there for about 10 minutes. And that was about all I could stand because the smell was horrible. And it was so bad my nose were burning. And I'm, I'm not that allergic to things, but my nose was burning. I just went back in the house and sat down. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Ion Construction. If you have a story pertaining to the Indiana construction industry that you'd like to share with us, please contact us via our website.